Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this CSAP news analysis which is launched today and we'll be covering the current affairs analysis daily taking at least five number of topics which are important in today's newspaper that may be across the Indian Express the Assam Tribune as well as the Hindu also we will try to cover as many as sources it may be the PIB okay or else some of the important news that comes under the paper the Sentinel okay so this is the analysis of current affairs which will be extremely helpful for you all in the upcoming exams so let's start with today's one so before going to that I am Jepul Riskalita okay so here is my details you can go through it later on okay so if you want to join our courses you can go ahead with our whatsapp group also if you want to find the relevant pdf of this particular analysis you can join our telegram group via the link given below if you need any other information you can directly connect us by our number 912751541 okay this is the independence day offer that we can see in the upcoming times so here are the few details through which you can join our courses in association with the very requirement of the APSC as well as the UPSC examinations okay so that is one of the major criteria of this particular exam okay so we have the launch date within 13 to 18th August of 2023 so grab your offer soon let's get back to the contents today what we will discuss so the first topic goes about the hybrid electric vehicle second communal violence e-invoicing isro rocket debris ls pass cinematography bill and various problems facts so you can see that which are the respective points are needed in response to the paper which can be asked via this supposedly the hybrid electric vehicles comes under the gs3 portion environment ecology science and tech communal violence under internal security the people who are doing my internal security classes they are much aware about this thing which is known to be the communal violence okay also if i say about e invoicing it's a part of indian economy as well as government policies isro record debris so it is basically on science and tech cinematographer bill so whenever it comes to bill obviously polity and governance okay and various other problems facts which we directly bring on to you that are two very important for your upcoming prelims both for APSC as well as UPSC let's start with the first question or uh, sorry first topic that is the hybrid electric vehicle so here it has been said the hybrid EV imperative okay so here a key question with their higher fuel economy and reduced carbon emissions hybrid EVs offer an opportunity for economically developing countries to kickstart towards sustainable transportation while addressing infrastructure and cost challenges associated with full adoption when I come in the context of the hybrid electric vehicles hybrid electric vehicles bully kole ami ki buzu so see hybrid electric vehicles it uses an internal combustion using engine it may be petrol it may be diesel okay and one or more electric motors to run in the recent times you can see about the uh, car okay the cars that has been launched by uh, maruti then we can see toyota okay so we have got a car known as toyota high rider okay also we can see a vehicle of maruti suzuki which is known as grand vitara okay rasta poduliye tumalke ebla gari dekhi bhai so these vehicles are what hybrid vehicles where I can see a petrol or diesel engine, any one of the other, and one or more electric motors to run. So it is powered by the electric motor alone, which uses energy stored in batteries, that is by the internal combustion engine or both. So in the system, I say, I say, I say, grand vitara or kotha kong, I say, koish lo zikhan high rider or kotha. Tate ki hoi, ziman bar break mari ba, ziman bar battery charge hoi. So what is all this hybrid vehicles okay 
So there are various components with respect to these hybrid vehicles. I can see a low voltage auxiliary battery. I can see a electric generator, a AC to DC converter. Okay, obviously I can see a conventional thermal system. Okay, a power electronics controller. A boostable electric. So therefore today, this HEV power trains are designed to power cars in series, parallel or series parallel methods. Okay, like methods are like you can see HEV and their respective methods. See, this method is like this. This is like this series, this is parallel, and this is like this series parallel. Both combined. Okay, and what is it used? It is used as a very dumb technology that is known as Regenerative Braking Technology. What do you mean? What do you mean? RBT. Regenerative Braking Technology. What is it used to do? See. Based on the type of RBS, the energy recovery happens in multiple ways. So, tar pura kinetic system or pura hi electric system or pura hi even it comes from the hydraulic systems. So, there are various advantages in respective to these automotive applications because as a regenerative braking system or karne as a gari bila kor, zitu braking efficiency hoy. Okay, he tu bahi bahi go yase. Okay, and it enhances also the fuel economy. Also, it helps energy optimization resulting in minimum energy wastage. So, therefore, today, the hybrid EV interactive is much more important in the context of today's. So, you can see the news on the the crucial element of the world's transition to becoming net zero electric vehicles. And in this milieu, hybrid EVs present big opportunity for economically developing countries like India. Okay, you can see a hybrid electric vehicles. Yeah, that's why exhaust system, internal combustion engine, power electronics, DC or AC converter. You can see fuel filler, fuel tank, battery. Yeah, battery. Then transmission, then electrical transmission motor generator. So this is the full technology that we can see in the case of the hybrid electric vehicles. Okay, so yata mo zibla kolu, what are the different types of hybrid electric vehicles? Yata ko tekini likha se. So, whenever you will directly get the PDF, please take use of the PDF to study everything that has been covered over here. That are very important. So, although we have uses, we have got uh, the positivities, somewhere or the other, we can even find various good number of challenges. That is, it is price sensitive. Ajikali hybrid vehicles zibla kor, gari bila kini bole zwasno. Minimum costing is around 24 to 25 lakhs. Hybrid electric vehicles. So it is a costing or factor that is also the battery that is a vital component. Yet to cost to boot basic. Okay, even you can see that RBS also adds to the higher cost of the HEV. Karan technology jimane logam, jimane obviously ki hobo. We can see that the cost factor will also get increase. Okay, so as a whole, if I say that this particular HEVs can play a critical role not only in reducing fossil fuel consumption carbon emissions and even pollution but also in creating a local EV part manufacturing ecosystem. So yes, we have got negativities, we have got challenges but to overcome the challenges, we have to look for the positivities in the coming times. So that is in relation to this first one. So we have got our mains question, you can attempt it and can send it to us. So what are hybrid electric vehicles, how do they function and what challenges does it possess for wide scale adoption in India. So a boosted to answer you can find in the respective PDF. Okay, Chalo, coming to the next. Yes, eh? communal violence at Na. Okay, so it is a Haryana area, hai, Na district. So, before going to this particular news, if I have to say about the communal violence or communalism, communalism refers to Communalism refers to a politics that seeks to unify one community around a religious identity in hostile opposition to another community. So, therefore, today I can directly say that communalism is bad for a country like India which lives in unity in diversity. And it is bad for a country where we have got such good number of people who are following different faith, who are following different beliefs, who are following different customs. And therefore it seeks to define this community identity as fundamental and fixed without tending any change. Okay, so today we have got various factors which contributes to communal violence. It may be disruptive effects of social media. It may be the role of mainstream media. It may be the lack of value-based education. It may be the majoritarian hegemony and minority insecurities. And we have communal violence or impact. 
So today, if I have to say about the impact of communal violence, I can see violation of human rights. Then we can see about the economic loss. Economic loss, Omar. Then we can see about the social dissonance. Social dissonance. Etwetha. Because communal violence strengthens both banks of ideologically aligned political parties and it further disrupts the cohesiveness in the society. Our target is erosiveness of the constitutional values like secularism as well as fraternity. Okay, so in this particular case, we have to see what? That clashes broke out between two groups in Haryana, Na district on July 31, and it happened during a procession taken out by the Bajrang Dal and the Vishnu Hindu. Vishwa Hindu Parishad and this resulted in the death of three persons and injuries to several others. So therefore today, it will be a simple case only. but we have seen that in the past as well as in the coming times also, India is very much sensitive towards the communal violence attributes. So therefore today, maintaining communal harmony and respecting pluralism in a country as diverse as India can be a challenge. However, it is important to address the collective concerns of the people of the country to uphold the constitutional values like fraternity and even secularism. Fraternity means ki brotherhood. Secularism means all religion are equal. So while on one hand we can see that this can take into consideration of the insecurities of the people, but on the other hand I can say significantly it could contribute the national building process. So obviously a strong nation which is built by the contribution of communities working together for its prosperity can further contribute to the maintenance of global peace as well as harmony. So we have to see about the uh, associated factors in relation to the communication, uh, uh, this communalism and there are constitutional provisions like 25, 29 as well as 51A which says about promoting harmony and no discrimination living in equality. Okay. So therefore, you can see one main question at ASE, you can directly take over. Critically examine the factors responsible for some of the recent communal violence in India, suggest ways to deal with. Okay. So at a main question, you can take over this main question. Okay. Next, I am going invoicing and GST invasion. Okay. So when I say about e-invoicing, the main context of that particular, what is the gist of this particular topic? It is basically saying about that Ajipa Jikin is GST Amar Bill Hoy that will be very much applicable with e invoice. Okay, which will make doing business with ease. Mana Jitu Amar ease of doing business. Hedu promote Koribula Ami to come Korisu. And from today, generating e invoices mandatory. Okay, so Yar and the Roth, can I get a give invoicing? Uniform and standard invoice, auto donation of e way bill, auto reporting to GST portal, lesser compliance burden to e boost to Kinitaki. So invoice, jodi moi ko invoicing hoy ki. It is a system where business to business invoices and some other documents are electronically authenticated by the GSTIN number. Okay, and it is for further use on GST portal. So therefore, e invoicing involves what? Submitting already generated standard invoices on a common invoice platform. Okay. So therefore, the e-way bill is a compliance mechanism wherein by way of digital interface, the person causing the movement of goods uploads the relevant information prior to the commencement of the movement of goods and generates an e-way bill on the GST portal. So A2, eliminate key code, eliminate code, manual data entry. Etata column or etata eneke eneke thakki bo, yate ki thakki, yate ki thakki, eneke eneke thakki bo, tate ami etata ke feel kori bona lage. Just, I mean, requirements can minimal jikini amar mandatory requirements or fill up kuridile, baki can automatically generate hoizabo. So, therefore, the GST Council, which recently has even said about uh, GST Council that amar 37 meeting 2019 or hoizile, it has approved the standard of invoice with the primary objective to enable interoperability. Okay, so Azi, yar bohut dangor significance asin. But still, we have got all the way some of the concerns in associated with the GST. Okay, so as you suppose, it's an invoice or it's a sample. So this is basically invoice. That is where it is barcode to take. You can see the transaction details. Okay, here are party details, take buyer details, take it, here are rates to take Okay, so this is particularly one of the things. Tarbis, here you can see even uh, this one. Sorry. 
ओके दिस वन यात्रे इनवॉइसर यात्रे कंसर्न्स ऑफ़ बता कोई से सो कंसर्न्स ऑफ़ की कोई से लोअरिंग डी थ्रेसल फॉर इनवॉइसिंग एड रेस सम कंसर्न्स फॉर बिजनेसेस स्पेशली स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस दे में फेस चैलेंज इन अडॉप्टिंग न्यूअर रिक्वायरमेंट्स इन्वेस्टिंग इन नेसेसरी टेक्नोलॉजी टू who can provide support to the small and medium enterprises in adopting the new system, including providing training and resources to help business comply with the new regulations. Even additionally, steps can be taken to address concerns around data privacy and even security to ensure that business feels comparable sharing their data in real time. So therefore, e-invoices, which applies only to the B2B invoices, that is the business to business, a separate workflow must be in place for delivery chalans, bills of supply, job work, and also other similar transactions. So, what is the first thing about e-invoice and its particular concerns with respect to the GST? Okay, so that is the main question. I have given the previous year's question around economy. So, you can directly attempt. I have answer to the in green. Okay, also here I will directly again say that we have launched the Independence Day offer that will be from 13 to 18 August 2023, okay, where all these discounts will be applicable for fresh graduates, for working professionals, and also on study materials and online or offline classes, okay. So, it will immediately to Malke Mon Koriba by clicking over here. Also, you can register and follow us on social media. This is Instagram page of us. This is Facebook page of us. This is the YouTube channel of us to get some of the exciting offers and some of the important videos in association with your preparation. Chalo, next ahi leki, Isro Rocket Debris found in Australia. Okay, so as I am uh, as a mystery object on Australian beach identified a part of Isro Rocket. And yes, Isro has accepted it to Okay, so a large object found the source of the Western Australia. It was a debris hai of the Isro, the Australian Space Agency has reported. Okay, and it agreed with the assessment saying the debris could be form of its polar satellite launch vehicle rockets. So, space debris bully kole ki hai, buzi thai, dekhi sai. So, space debris refers to man made objects in Earth's orbit that no longer serve as a useful purpose. And again, kiman ze guri ase, art or round, and again, art konase, art konase, are you okay? And again, 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 kiman ze debris guri ase. Okay, so obviously, we have got some of the potential hazards for operational satellites, kunda lagi kole, operational satellites, it's a bia huiza opera. Reduction of orbital slots, kali porhi notun ka satellite, that dibole, that jodi already debris at ase, amar bohu digar hobo, that already plot kori bo. Space situational awareness, the increasing amount of space debris make it more challenging for satellite operators and space agencies to accurately track and predict the orbits of objects in space. So, Kali Porohi is a satellite track, but supposedly that is a space debris. So, obviously, our exec him the satellite position, we monitor the position, we monitor the position, we monitor the So, obviously, it becomes a challenging affair in terms of this particular debris. So, yeah, the initiatives good law was Israel was okay, and also a good number of projects Israel kilo is Netra was okay. What is Netra? You can see that Netra is basically an early warning system in space to detect debris and other hazards to Indian satellites, okay. Bohut basic important hoy. So, you have to remember about Netra, okay. So, Netra is a very important, uh, is an important. EWS basically in space which detect debris and other hazards to the Indian satellites. Okay, so a boost to a project to Amarkane Bohut important hoy. Okay, a project to ISRO start kori se. And we all know under Netra the ISO plans to put up many observational facilities, connected radars, telescopes, data processing units, and even control centers. Okay, so yet a kwase the netra ki koro paribo. It can spot, it can track. It can catalog objects as small as even 10 cm. 10 cm of Horu goes to a town, it will take Koriba, monitor Koro Pare. Okay, so it to Amarkane Bohut important at a effort hoy to protect such things which is happening in as a junk in the space. Okay, so it will Netra, which also means if you want the full form of Netra, you can write Network for Space Object. Just a second. Network for space objects 
tracking and analysis etu hoy ki nitra okay so please remember this very important okay we have framed the question for this space debris has become a major issue of world today discuss the problem caused due to space debris and also give solutions to it okay so etu eta amar problem hoy goy ase so you have to light ahead with a solution okay current solution also various number of initiatives you can even say about the clear space one clear space one etu kar hoy esa er hoy european space agency er hoy okay which is scheduled to launch in 2025 2025 er launch hobo and it will be the first space mission to eliminate debris from the orbit okay also amar jodi moi ko about the situational space situational awareness ssa okay it's a control center in bengaluru so it is managed by the isro even for this particular debris to ei bostu bilak ahe ta apsot even norad buli eta bostu ase norad n o r a d e bilak points likhi roba bahut important hoy norad north american aerospace defense command which is an initiative of the us and canada that shares selective debris data with many countries okay so e bilak eta initiative hoy aro amar india to khada mon rakhiba netra okay chalo coming to the last discussion of today লোকসভা পাসে সিনেমোগ্রাফি বিল তো সিনেমেটোগ্রাফি বিল তো ইয়াতে আমি অলরেডি জানো যে রাজ্যসভায় সিনেমেটোগ্রাফি বিল পাস করেছে এটা লোকসভাও পাস করলে সো নাও ইট হ্যাজ টু ওয়ার্ক উইথ ফর দি এসেন্ট অফ হুম দ্য প্রেসিডেন্ট অফ ইন্ডিয়া ওকে সো কি হওয়ার কারণে নিউজত আসলে জাস্ট বিকজ রাজ্যসভা পাস করার পিছনে এটা লোকসভাও পাস করেছে ওকে আর এই বিলখানে কি এমেন করেছে সিনেমেটোগ্রাফি অ্যাক্ট অফ নাইনটিন ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট which authorizes the cbfc that is central board of film certification to require cut in films and clear them for exhibition in cinemas and on television okay so etu bolta important feature hoy to yate jikini salient provisions ase he provisions kini ki hoy aims and proposals koisu dan provisions hard sir panel provisions for film piracy mainly piracy logo discussion aru kisu man jikini age groups hoy he age group ni bodlai dise Okay, then again, more questions. Sub-age categories for films. Certification once given will be perpetual rather than 10 years limit. The act will be aligned with the Supreme Court judgment. Recertification of the edited film for television broadcasts. Only unrestricted public exhibition category films can be shown on televisions. Okay, so here the major changes key code is here. Here the classification. U, unrestricted public exhibition. So, while the film account so I got the question, I got the answer. U A bulia hai. Who got U bulia hai? ओके सो यूए माने की अनरेस्ट्रिक्टेड पब्लिक एग्जीबिशन सब्जेक्ट टू पेरेंटल गाइडेंस फॉर चिल्ड्रन बिलो एज ऑफ 12 ए बुलिया हिले की एडल्ट यू बुलिया हिले अनरेस्ट्रिक्टेड पब्लिक एग्जीबिशन बट एटिया न्यू कैटेगरीज की ऐड करी जाए यू ए 7 प्लस यू ए 13 प्लस यू ए 16 प्लस इन प्लेस फॉर 12 इयर्स आ गोटे इट वाज इले ओके सो एट इन द बहुत बेसी इंपोर्टेंट होय प्लीज डू रिमेंबर यू ए 7 प्लस यू ए 13 प्लस यू ए 16 प्लस इले न्यू कैटेगरी खुमवा गयसे तापसत स्ट्रिंग एंड लॉ बनवा गयसे अगेंस्ट पायरेसी वी ऑल नो जे फिल्म खान सोली थके उन भाई ये तो वीडियो कॉल वीडियो रिकॉर्ड कोड़े पे ले लोग उसी है आरो डायरेक्टली यानी पिला टोरेंट और डीडी है ओके सो ये तो आमी जानू ये तो आमी ऑलरेडी आमी बहुत कहीं मूवीज़ जाने के सायु भाई सो ओके सो ए बस तो ऑब्वियसली बेया है आरो टार करने की है टार करने जितू फिल्म so it had a bill hoyase after presidential election it will become an act and that will replace the 1952 cinematographer act okay so here can a model question dia goise intellectual property right or policy upor so it a answer to ase dia okay this is particularly one of the question associated with this particular topic okay understand by intellectual property rights discuss some steps taken by the government to manage intellectual property rights issues in india okay so these are the prelims facts silo bo parayate india exported us dollar 2.43 billion worth smartphones स्मार्टफोन एक्सपोर्ट आम बाढ़ गई आज देट इज भेरी इम्पर्टेन्ट और कत कत गई यू केन सी यू नेडारलेंड यू के इटाली सैक रिपब्लिक ओके एंड यूएस वाज द हाइस इम्पर्टेन्ट एम द लॉ आज यूएस की जी ट्रेड डेफिट सीट ना अबियलि यूएस इज आंडार ट्रेड डेफिट उथ आस ओके सो आम बेनिफिट आसो तक आकिरा रेनसम बहुत इम्पर्टेन्टलि बिकज सीई आर टी इंडिया कम्पिटर एम रेसपन्स टीम इंडिया देट इज हेज एलार्टेड द होल कान्ट्री फर निव रेनसम नोन एज आकिरा আর এটা মেইনলি কো টার্গেট করি আছে উইন্ডোজ আর লিনাক্স ডিভাইসেস অফ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট তারপর আসাম गवर्नमेंटে কইছে যে জিটু 1 লিটার টলার আমার পানির বটল জিবলা আমি হাফ লিটার পানি বটল কিনি খাইছিল 10 টাকা এটু এতিয়া অক্টোবর 2 এর বা ব্যান হই যাব ঠিক আছে না পাবো ইন মার্কেট 
ओके आरु अक्टूबर 2024 ओ पड़ा इवन एक लीटर और बोतल ना पापा की किन्हीं बोला है दो लीटर और बोतल ओके सो डेट इज़ वन ऑफ़ दी मेजर कंसर्न्स तब सोच स्टडी फाइंड्स डाइवर्सिटी अमॉंग असम लेमन पापुलेशन ओके काजी नेमू आमर फेवरेट है ओके खाबा काजी नेमू वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट जी � माने आजी आपार समर पाले जितु काजी नेमु पाए बा लोअर समर पाले बा नॉर्थ समर पाले बा साउथ समर पाले एतु जेनेटिकली किसुमान डिविजन्स आसे तो एखिनि कथाय एटा कइसे तो सिन्स काजी नेमु न्यूजत आसे एन्ड आल्सो इट्स अ जीआई टैग आइटम तो हेतु कारणे ऑलवेज यू शुड नो अबाउट द नंबर ऑफ जीआई टैग आइटम्स ओके सो प्लीज डू राइट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन दैट हाउ मेनी जीआई टैग प्रोडक्ट्स टुडे आर इन प्लेस इन असम अहमत केटा जीआई टैग प्रोडक्ट आसे मु गुटे गिटा लागिबो ओके प्लीज डू राइट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो Okay, so that is all from today. So this is our academic team. Okay, so this is the content developing team and our technical team. This is presented by me. Okay, so one is the motivational quote for today. You can't cross the sea merely by standing and staring at the water. Rabindranath Tagore. Okay, Hagar Khan Zuri Sai Thakar Rukhi Thakar. Obviously Hagar Khan cross Kurban Mari. But you have to take some of these steps forward to go through your goal. Okay, Zuri failure puana life or Zuri costo puana life or ekun ho. Obviously, you have to think about the mere success that is after the Williamson effort that you have put in to cross this particular stage. Okay, so on the very important and a very nice quote by Rabindranath Tagore. So that is all for today from my side. We'll meet you again tomorrow with the same content as well as uh, same type of current affairs that will be very much relevant for you in the upcoming exams. So that is all for today. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.